we've got a unit here. When I went to adjust the thermostat, it cut right off. And that's what they said. They said it's like cutting on and off and acting weird. So that's peculiar. Let it boot up, see what's going on. Thing I wanna do, it was weird that it didn't do it till I touched it, but just check this right here. Make sure they're good. again. That float switch certainly looks suspect. So it does look suspect, but I think it is working. I think we might have a, something going on with this thermostat. As soon as the unit goes to come on, it cuts off. Tested between R and C, and it's at a steady 24 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump out R, Y, G, and O, and send it into air conditioning and see if it's still the problem still persists. If it stops, then we know we got a bad thermostat. All right, just like this. R to O, and then R to Y and G. All right, with it running back here, we'll kind of pull on this guy a little bit. You see it's not all the way full. This is all water on right here. So that trap is not full. That did fall right off there, so I don't think that was our original problem, though. I'm going to leave this off for a minute, even though that was very loose. I might go ahead and change, change this because it looks like somebody broke the plug. Of course, this might have caused our thermostat to go bad too. Killed power. Go ahead and try to push this back on. Right, it feels like it's on there. It feels like that's on there good and solid. Certainly more solid than it was. got something really peculiar going on with this relay here. This is just the emergency heat relay, but it's clicking on and off, even though my voltage is not dropping. I need to re-tap this unit with 240 volts. seems good. It seemed like it dropped out before and I still had 24 volts applied. I'll have to go up there and check that also. And 
all this in my outdoor unit still as it came on. So I think I got a bad relay for starters, but like I said, my uh, my damn outdoor unit hasn't came on yet. All right, so I know we're gonna have to get that relay replaced. But my outdoor unit still has not started, so I'm going to go up on the roof now and see why that has not started. Um, because so far we need a relay and a thermostat, so see what's up with this outdoor unit too, so we can have everything diagnosed and then go from there. Alright, here's our unit. Pretty sure this is us the cover off contactor not pulled in I just heard something click I got 24 volts. getting this weird click from this from this board and it goes to the board first I got 24 volts going to the board. Like I said, I got some pressure switches here. What's my, where's my 24 volts leave? Probably this guy here, which goes to my pressure switches. You guys hear that? It just keeps on going, click, 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 click. I don't have it coming out of the board going to the pressure switches Let's see if I get it momentarily Probably not because the unit's not starting. Yeah, I got a little flash there for a second, but so something is up with this board. I don't know what happens here, but something crazy happened where we took out a relay board and a thermostat so we're going to try to figure out make sure we have all the right stuff here we're all right yeah so i'm i'm right it goes y goes in here and then comes out here 
goes through our pressure switches, and then eventually lands at the contactor. So, hopefully I got another jumper wire up here. That's what I like to do until I can get that board, is just jump between here and here. That way I still have my pressure switches in the equation. All right, so I didn't have a jumper, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, this is one of our pressure switches. We're gonna jump that right to Y and basically bypass the board. Okay, so we must have a, we must have a pressure switch open. See if we got charge. Okay, so we got charge. Now we're finding which pressure switch is bad then. So I guess the board is doing its job. I haven't looked up this code because Drain does all kinds of crazy stuff with their codes, but it'll be easier for me just to find out which pressure switch is bad. Okay, so we actually do not have a bad pressure switch. What we have is a shorted contactor, and it was causing this board to do all kinds of crazy stuff. So um, I'm about to prove that here in one second. I'm going to wire this pressure switch back up, and I'm going to show you guys. All right, look here. So we have a 24-volt call coming up. 24. Okay. Okay. So also, if we I'm trying to do this one-handed, so bear with me. So we got a common there. And if we test here now, which this wire right here goes to our contactor. 24 volts. However, if we connect that to come on, doesn't come on and then it sends our board into a frenzy our board is protecting the rest of our unit so we have 24 volts there but we don't have it at the contactor anymore. You see how it came off for one second? The board is actually protecting the rest of the unit. So something weird definitely happened here. And now actually that I think about it, now that I think about it, let's replace the contactor, the part that I know for sure is bad and then we'll work backwards from here and see if our other issues go away. Because I've seen systems do crazy stuff before when they have shorts to try to protect themselves. The old Honeywell Pro 5000 thermostats, if you had a short in the system, what it would do is, you know how it would flash wait for five minutes or um, uh, the cool would flash letting you know it was in a delay. Well, once it went to come on, it realized there was a short in the system it would just go right back into its five minute delay again. So that's just something that the Honeywell Pro 5000 did to kind of protect itself and in turn protect the rest of the system. So we're gonna replace the contactor first and then see if one, our issue with our blower relay goes away. Don't know if it will. And then also see if the issue with our thermostat goes away. If not, then we'll have to replace all three components and I would be okay with that also, but hopefully we can get by with just replacing the contactor. Weird stuff, guys. <laughs> all right, we should have the proper 24 volts across our contactor now. It was there. Sorry, guys. I can't. My chopstick game isn't good today. Let's go ahead and... And there's our unit. A shorted contactor is what caused all of it. All right. Let's get this buttoned up up here. 
This unit is three phase, by the way. It just only breaks two of the legs. All right, we're gonna see if our thermostat issue goes away. All right, I think we're good. I think what was happening was as soon as we were delivering a Y call to our contactor, it would short and then blank this thermostat. Momentarily, it would come back on and do it all over again. It seems our relay issue in here has went away also. All that because of a shorted contactor. We eventually got to it though. That's why it's extremely important to evaluate the whole system before you make a diagnosis. I could have very easily replaced the thermostat, replaced the relay, still had the same issue, but we wanted to get to the bottom of the issue first, and it ends up what I actually found and fixed that, it fixed all the other issues behind it. So that's why it's very, very important to be thorough guys and check everything. So you guys see how I worked through that. When I first got there, I suspected a thermostat, but I looked a little further. Then I seen, well, this, this relay's acting weird. It's dropping out for some reason. Then I go up on the roof. Wow, this board's suspect, or is it a pressure switch? But the more I dug, the more I found the root problem, which was that shorted contactor, and the board was actually just protecting itself. So we got the contactor replaced and all the other issues went away. So that shorted contactor was causing a chain reaction down the line. The heat pump board was protecting the rest of the unit, which in turn was causing a short in that relay, in turn causing a short in the thermostat. So like I said, guys, that one short there was causing a chain reaction going down the line of everything acting erratically and going haywire. Once we got that short taken care of, it worked like a charm. So, all right, guys, hopefully someone got something out of this. If you did, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here, and I'll catch you on the next one.